Hey everybody, this is BuilderDude35, and today's video is going to be focusing on the effect of increasing the distance between the color sensors and the drive wheels on your FLL robot. This video is going to focus on investigating the effect of increasing the distance between the robot's drive motors and the color sensors, and uh, well, its effect on the robot's ability to line square and line follow. And I have created two theories for the effect that it could possibly have. The first one is the lever theory, which opposes increasing the distance between these two parts. And the second is the two points theory, which is based on geometry, which supports the um, uh, lengthening of this distance. And I'll go over these two theories, and at the end, I'll give you an experiment that you can try yourself and to, to investigate the effect that it has and so you can experiment for yourself. So the first theory, which is lever theory, opposes the lengthening of this distance. And first, for lever theory, we're going to have to kind of envision the robot as a lever. Um, in a previous video, I had discussed um, how when your robot turns, the point around which it turns is going to be somewhere on the line between the two drive motors. And we can imagine this as kind of like the fulcrum or the pivoting point of the robot. So when the robot turns as it's line following, this is going to be the point around which it pivots. Now, if you have a short distance between this pivot point and the color sensors, your color sensors aren't going to move as far when your robot turns during its line following. When you increase this distance, the color sensors are going to move a greater distance when your robot moves as it's line following. And the lever theory states that since this distance is increased um, and your robot, um, your color sensors are going to move side to side more as you're line following, it's going to make the robot more difficult to control as it's line following and thus make line following more difficult, less stable, and makes the motions more herky jerky. So that's the lever theory. The two points theory, like the last theory, is heavily based on geometry, but this time this theory is going to support the lengthening of the distance between your drive motors and your color sensors. First, to understand the two points theory, what you need to know is that two points define a line. So as soon as you have two points, you can draw a line in between them. And also, increasing the distance between these two points makes it easier to draw a line between them. Now, to apply this to our robot, the line that the robot is following is going to be the line in the ge geometry analogy and our two points are going to be on the robot. The first point is going to be the color sensor that's following the line. The second point is going to be located directly in between the two drive motors. And according to this theory, increasing the distance between the drive motors and the color sensor is actually going to increase the stability of your line following because it's more easier to follow the line um, that's underneath the robot because it uh, increases the distance and therefore increases the consistency and possibly the stability of following the line. So that's the two points theory. Now keep in mind this so far is all theoretical. To see how this actually applies to an FLO robot and to determine which of these two is the prevailing theory, I've designed a little experiment that you guys can try with your own robot. So here's how it goes. Choose any line, either on the FLO mat or like draw one on the ground with some black tape. And then take your FLO robot in its current configuration and use your preferred line following program to follow this line and just observe how it does in its current configuration. Then the next step is to move the color sensor that you're using to follow the line out in front of the drive wheels and then keep repeating the process where you move the color sensor out by one stud or two studs, then look at how it changes the line following and keep repeating this process, keep moving the color sensors out and away and determine what kind of effect that increasing this distance is going to have on the line following by actually observing the line following yourself. And this is great for you to do the discovery yourself because this is the whole purpose of FLL. And it's also a great thing to bring up in your judging room. Discuss with the judges that you did this experiment and uh, what your results were and how it helped you determine where you wanted to put your color sensors on your robot in relation to your drive motors. And you'll get a lot of points for that. Thank you for watching my video this week. Be sure to subscribe for more tutorials like this. If you have a suggestion for a tutorial, be sure to submit it in the comments section below. And I'll see you next time. Bye.